won't I won't give it away yet, but I always try to do not always, but I felt like uh, death metal and origin were getting formatted into one particular way. And so on the last album I started taking more chances and thinking outside the box a little bit. And from whatever traditional grindcore to black metal to old school death metal to tech death. Whatever you want to call it. I mean, there's so many genres now. And, um, on this one, I I mean, I try to always uh, have the, the origin sound to whatever we do, but I've always tried to do just a little bit, at least I'm trying to do something a little bit outside the box in an origin-esque way. Um, the thing that we were saying a lot is more cake, less icing. I think that uh, all of us are like, uh, we you hear a lot of notes, but not a lot of song composition. And uh, I don't know, still want it to be death metal, not. Uh, radio friendly. Well, I don't mind. You know, you could be. I don't know. I'm not, not trying to go radio friendly, but I just don't like the. Uh, it's too much noodling. Uh, I don't really know. I mean, people say I'm the cause of that, and I'm like, well, I try to I try to write around composition and a song structure, rather than a technique turned into a song. So uh, I think there's dynamic star music, uh, even though that we play, you know, like we always try to be ferocious at what we do, but I still try to create dynamics and song structure and composition, and I think that a lot of people, you know. A good balance of cake and icing is the way to go. Instead of the whole bunch of frosting with little cake, or a lot of cake with not a lot of frosting, I'm trying to go like the perfect blend. I'm sure some will love it, some will hate it, you know. And some will only listen to the first album, and some will never listen to the first album. So, <laughs> you know, that's part of the you know journey of this soundtrack of my life. You know, I'm a, I played death metal before anyone listened. Now I play it way after people stop listening, so.